Hello everyone, welcome to my study channel Chemistry. Subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get more new updates. Today we will practice to find out the IUPC name of some more coordination compounds. So let's take the first example. CrH2O whole 6 then Cl3. So in this compound you can see first part is coordination sphere part and the second part is counter ion part. I hope all of you have seen my previous two videos when I have discussed the oxidation state how to find out the oxidation state of the metal present in coordination compound and the rules to find out the IPC name of coordination compounds. If you do not see then I have given the link below in the description box. Please have a look in it. Now I can come. So in this compound whenever we will find out the IPC name our first work is we will write first the first part of that coordination compound. Here the first part is coordination sphere part. So first we will write this part. So within this part you can see ligand present metal atom is present so first write the number of ligand here ligand is h2o 6 h2o is present so for 6 we will write hexa then this is h2o we will write aqua this is chromium so write hexa aqua chromium now write the oxidation state of this metal here chlorine anionic species so from here you will get 3 minus so the chromium oxidation state will be 3 plus then overall compound is neutral so here it will be 3 then write the counter ion part that is chloride okay next take another example Cu H2O whole 4 then SO4 okay the third bucket is here not here so now again first part is coordination sphere part after that counter ion part so first we will write this part so here you can see ligand and metal atom so first write the number of the ligands so 4 means tetra then again H2O means aqua this is copper so write copper now write the oxidation state of the metal and then after that the counter ion part that is sulfate now what is the oxidation state here you can see the sulfate ion is anionic 2 minus charge H2 is neutral that means 0 so the copper charge will be obviously plus 2 or else you can also find out like this way if copper you consider x plus for h2o it is 0 into how many h2o 4 plus sulfate 1 sulfate is present so 1 into charge is minus 2 equal to overall charge of this compound 0 so x equal to plus 2 so here you have written the 2 in roman letter okay now next come Pt NH3 whole 6 4 plus okay so here you can see only the coordination sphere part is present and that part is cationic so rule is same first write the number of ligand that is 6 NH3 is present so for 6 hexa this is amino group so hexa amine then write the metal atom platinum so platinum now see ammonia is neutral ligand so the charge of ammonia is zero so this four plus will come on platinum so the oxidation state of platinum is obviously four now see this one is ion right charge is present so you have to write here ion so hexa i mean 
platinum for iron now next co nh3 whole 5 o n o 2 plus so here also coordination sphere part present and within within that sphere two types of ligands are present one is amino and the one is nitrosyl so amino nitrosyl a comes first alphabetically so we will write the amino first now how many amino present five so write penta amine then this one nitrito nitrito then this nitrito is bonded with the metal atom by this oxygen atom so we will write o then write the metal atom this is cobalt so write cobalt so after writing the metal atom we have to write the oxidation state of that metal then there is no counter ion so this is ion actually now find out the oxidation state of cobalt ammonia neutral right o and o this one is anionic in nature so if you consider the oxidation state of cobalt is x then x plus 0 into 5 plus o and o charge is minus 1 how many o and o 1 equal to overall charge of this compound is plus 2 so write 2 then x equal to what 2 plus 1 equal to 3 so we will write here roman 3 so the full name is pentamine nitrito o cobalt 3 ion why this is o because this ono group is attached with the cobalt metal by oxygen Now take another example, 5. Pt, NH3, whole 2, Cl, NO2. This is the coordination sphere part. So, three types of ligands are present. So, we will first write the ligand name according to their alphabet. So, this is amine, this is chloro, this is nitrito. So, obviously, A come first. So, we will write first this one. Now, how many amine? 2. So, we will write di, amine, then chlorine. So, we will write chlorido, then nitrito. Now here this NO2 group is attached with the platinum by nitrogen bond. So we will write here N. Now write the metal atom platinum. Then we will write here oxidation state. Now what is the oxidation state of platinum? Consider X then plus ammonia we know neutral. So, 0 into 2 plus chlorine. This one is anionic. Charge is minus 1. So, right here minus 1. Plus NO2 is also anionic. Charge is minus 1. So, right minus 1. Equal to overall charge of this compound is 0. Neutral compound. So, X equal to you can see minus 1 minus 1. Minus 2 will go that side. So, it will be plus 2. So, here. Platinum oxidation state 2.